This is Bruce Blythe with Vance Publishing. Chicago Board of Trade agricultural markets were hit hard to start this week as Europe's ongoing debt troubles trigger global sell-off in equity and commodity markets, and that helped send December corn futures to seven-week lows. December contract is actually below $6 for the first time since early October at $5.99 a bushel. It's down 7.4% since the end of October. Story remains very much the same. Europe's problems are fueling concern over a slowdown in the global economy that would depress demand for, for all commodities. Meanwhile, in the U.S., the failure of the Congressional Super Committee to reach an agreement on deficit reduction further fueled that bearish sentiment. And there seems to be a feeling in the grain markets that, that the path of least resistance may be even lower from here. We pretty much know what the size of this year's corn and soybeans harvest is, and now we're shifting our focus to demand, and demand hasn't been all that hot, especially in the export markets for, for, for corn and soybeans. Uh, so there's potential we may see lower prices as we near the holidays. However, we're still historically high. Tyson Foods CEO Donnie Smith earlier this week said he thinks grain costs in 2012 will be at or above 2001 levels. He says it just stands the reason we're going to have incremental increases in corn and soybean meal costs. Tyson's the biggest meat processor, processor in the U.S. and they've been squeezed by higher feed costs like everyone else. Their profit in the most recent quarter was down 54 percent, largely because of higher costs. And they see chicken production over the next year declining 4 percent across the industry from the previous year's levels. Now, uh, in the livestock market's holding up a little bit better this month. December live cattle futures a little over $1.21 a pound, up 2.4% so far this month. December lean hogs, slightly under $0.88 cents a pound. In fact, that market hit a two-week high today, and it's up about 0.4% so far this month. Markets are closed for the Thanksgiving holiday, of course, and reopen again Friday, usually one of the slowest days of the year. And then after that, we head into our holiday mode when, when trading usually uh, slows down even more. So once again, Bruce Blythe with Vance Publishing in Chicago.